Uh, I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Morocco from 2004 to 2006. And I was in Bulmen, which is in the middle of Atlas Mountains. And I worked at a youth center, which is called the Dar Shabbat. And I'm Andrew Monahan. I was also in Bulmen, Morocco from 2004 to 2006. And I worked in a women's weaving cooperative. I would say my advice is just to go into things with a very open mind and not really have expectations about what the experience will be. And just remember that um, even if you're having a hard time during your Peace Corps service, um, try to connect with the people around you. Um, and you know those difficult experiences will also make you a stronger person and make your experience even more rich. Um, so just try to be open-minded and meet as many people as you can and try to really represent the best of the United States um, to the country you're serving in. For me, I would say, I probably walked on eggshells a little bit trying to be sensitive and not offend anyone uh, from the outset. And it, it probably did a disservice to like making the connections that I really, you know, that have grown so much since then. So I wish I had um, come into it with a little bit more, I don't know, I guess confidence, which could be hard to say when you're speaking a second language. But Even though we live in Morocco, we probably don't come back here enough, but every time that we do, I just feel extremely happy, um, and I feel it kind of brings me back to the time that I was in Peace Corps and to be able to share connections with people um, that I'm so close to and to be able to see those people grow and change over the years is really special. I think especially being able to see my students um, who were in high school when I was here and to see them married and have children and you know start jobs, it's really special to be able to see them grow and I felt that way again this time on our visit.